With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is write the balanced molecular equation for the following word equation. So in this question, you're given a word equation and you have to convert it into a molecular equation. It means that you have to convert it into its chemical formulas and then balance the equation, right? So, uh, first of all, we will convert it into the chemical formulas and then balance it, right? So, lead sulfate can be written as PbSO4, right? Lead is Pb and sulfate is SO4, right? Plus ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium means NH4, right? Hydroxide means OH negative ion, right? Now, this will give rise to ammonium sulfate. Ammonium means NH4. Right? NH4 is NH4 plus and sulfate is SO4 2 minus. That is why the formula becomes NH4 twice SO4. Right? Then we have lead hydroxide which means that PbOH twice. Right? Why? Because lead is in plus 2 oxidation state and OH is in minus 1 oxidation state. So, when you will interchange it, you will get the formula as PbOH twice. And similarly, in the case of ammonium sulfate also, ammonium has a uh, NH4 plus and sulfate is SO4 2 negative. So, on interchanging the formula, uh, on interchanging the ion or the valencies, we will get the formula as NH4 twice SO4. Right. So, this is the chemical equation that we have got. Now, we have to balance this chemical equation. Now, what do we mean by balancing the chemical equation? Balancing the chemical equation means that all the number of atoms in the reactant side and the product side should be equal. Right. If you look at it right now, we have one lead in the reactant side and one lead in the product side, which means that lead is right now balanced. We have one ammonium in the right left hand side, but two in the left in the right hand side, which means that we have to balance it. So we will add two over here. So now we have two NH4 here and two NH4 here. Then we have two OH now because we have added two here. This means that we have two OH, so two OH here, which means that OH is also balanced. Now we have one sulfate here, SO4, and one sulfate here. So now this particular reaction is a completely balanced reaction because all the atoms in the reactant side is equal to all the atoms in the product side. So this is going to be the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.